So, yeah. Um, it's my pleasure and honor to present this year's Gotham Awards Director Tribute to the brilliant, the formidable, the singular Jane Campion. Thank you very, very much, Mark. Uh, I had the joy of falling in love with Mark when we worked together. It doesn't happen every time, but it certainly happened with us. And it's such a joy that he was here to give him this award. Thank you. Okay. On receiving the director's tribute, I'm inevitably led to remember how it all began for me. The very first piece of advice I got as a fledgling director was from a successful producer. She had looked at a test scene I had shot and she said she wanted to save me time. You can't direct. You shouldn't do it. I said, I thought I could improve. No, she said steadily, you will never, ever be good. On the drive home, I cried, but amazingly, I didn't believe her. <laughs> I could improve. I already knew the mistakes I made in the test scene, and I also learned it was a mistake to make a test scene. Yet I could see that if I wanted to progress, I had to have some finished shorts, not just one, but three that would convince other people and myself that I could be a director. My first day at film school was a shock. There were 75 people at the school and all of them wanted to be directors. They had just as much right to try as I had. It was really humbling. I was not competing with them. I was struggling with myself to be myself. I worked and I failed so spectacularly, I got sick with stress and sleeplessness, eventually landing in hospital. But I kept getting up and trying again until the three years were up and I had three finished short films. I was not the star of the school. I was the weird ex-art school student who made such strange films, such strange films, you couldn't broadcast them on the national TV channel. I did not have high hopes. I was disappointed, yes, but I was satisfied. I liked the films I had made because they had me in them. They and I were fated together. The moment I knew I would continue was when the graduating students screened our final year films to a full audience of friends and family. I remember nervously warning Gabrielle, my young lead, people not, may not like our film. The film, A Girl's Own Story, began and almost immediately there was clapping and cheering and laughing that was so loud and continuous, I started to tremble. To my surprise and the staff's, the audience loved it. The three shorts were selected to be screened at Cannes by their scout, Pierre Rizion, who later became a friend. <laughs> Peel, the first of the three, won the Palme d'Or for best shot. Now I can say my career has begun. Apparently, I could direct, or could I? As a director, failure is always present, always possible. So hey, it's damn nice to get this director's tribute. Thank you. I love it, and I will believe I deserve it for the whole of this evening. 